Well, hello. Today I'd like to revisit a pen that I last visited in January 24th of 2018 years. Oh, sorry, of 2018. Um, I like to, when I started doing these first impressions, I thought, well, we'll revisit pens after five years. And I've realized how many pens have actually passed that date because I forgot all about them. Um, or forgot to do the revisit. So, yeah, I still have it. So let's take a look at how she writes. All right, so I'd like to revisit the Pelican 400 NN. Uh, it has that famous green fin green striped finish with where, where clear and green bands alternate. And yes, you can see the ink level through the clear bands. I've heard they're changing the formulation on that, so that's sad. But this pen is from the 1950s. One thing which I'm going to mention later, you can see that the uh, piston turning knob is inset a little bit from the barrel. There was a version that came out in the 1970s where that was not the case. We have the Pelican clip and some other junk. And here on the band we've got Germany. Can't read that. Need to need my loop. Okay, it says Germany. Pelican, and then a four hundred. So here, whoops. So there's the Germany part. Pelican, and four hundred. Uh, some of the other versions were flatter here and flatter here. And of course, the modern version of the 400, which is the M400, is flat. Uh, the nib, a little ink on it, condensation and so on. So the ink in this is Rohrer and Klingner. Alt Goldgrün. One of my favorite inks, uh, as far as flex, not a flex pen, but I think you can see that with minimal effort, it does have some line variation. Wetness and flow. Keeps up extremely well for all of your writing needs. Smear test. It's a pretty wet pen. Uh, I always like to do reverse writing for those who are into that kind of thing. Feels just as good as writing the correct way. Uh, I'd call that an extra fine. Uh, of course, the world famous Peer Gustafson test. Oh, forgot the horizontals. I can see why I might be thinking it's an extra fine because some of these, it didn't skip. These are extremely fine lines. Uh, of course, my preview screen sucks. So I just might not be seeing them here. And because this is a, a re revisit and not a first impression, we're going to do a quote. I just mentioned I'm not 100% sure if that quote is true or not. But, you know, if it's not, blame Christopher Buckley. So, anyway, um, not my favorite pen to hold, but it is one of my favorites to write with. 
Uh, something about holding it is just a little off. I'm not sure what, but uh, man, it sure lays down a nice line. So is the Pelican 400 NN, which stands for Noi Noi, um, New New. It was a newer model at the time. I still like it. As you can see, the writing is fun. So I've got my notes off to the side here. The 400 actually be opened up in the 1950s. In fact, this particular pen. So there was a Pelican 400, which had a just kind of a flat, like a modern Pelican 400. Um, came out in the night, uh, let's see, 1950, 1956. There was a 400N, which was slightly more rounded. And then the 400NN, which uh, is the one you see here. There was actually a 1970s version, which was made by Mertz and Krell. But this whole piston knob would be flush with the barrel rather than slightly indented. Um, anyway, somewhere along the line, they'd come up with a new filling mechanism. And, uh, okay, sorry, I wanted to get the date right. So this was actually in production from April 23rd, 1956 till July 28th, 1965. Um, and it just kind of completed the transition the, the model had been going through. It's worth noting down here, there's a collar inside. Uh, some of them were made with polystyrene, so those are prone to cracking. Mine, it has been replaced. Um, and there was apparently a safety mechanism that prevented the cap from coming unscrewed, which uh, this one has. I don't know how to demonstrate it without you actually feeling it, but you unscrew it, and then it just kind of stops, and you have to apply just a little bit more pressure to get it to finish unscrewing. So I think mine has that safety mechanism. But anyway, I will put a link to the website where I got most of this information from. And uh, it'll get you more information on the other models of the 400NN. So am I happy I bought the 400NN? Heck yeah. In fact, it's because of this 400NN I ended up buying a few more Pelican pens over the years. Uh, it's a well-made pen. It's fun to write with. It's got just the right amount of bounce. It's... Uh, just a really good pen. So, uh, hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And, uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.